Hey guys, what's up? This is Ryan again in part two to our modification with the um, audio in the camper. We're going to add a Bluetooth module to the factory radio since it has an audio input. So when the kids are playing or we're outside and we want to listen to music, we can pull up Pandora or Amazon Prime or YouTube or whatnot and we can listen to the music that we want to listen to instead of having to bring along a CD or turn on an AM FM radio and all of that so let's get started I'm gonna show you everything you need to actually sell this kit on eBay and um, alright okay we're about to remove the radio but I'm gonna turn the radio on and show you how you may be able to see if this modification can work for you in your camper I don't know if you can see here this is auxiliary button press it one time it says auxiliary in front press it again it says auxiliary in rear F for front R for rear so we know that it has a rear inputs here it has a front input there also AV input and then it's got headphone output but if you have a rear input then uh, this modification will work for you alright so what we have here in this kit that we sell on eBay we have your converter that goes from 12 to 5 volts to power your Bluetooth. Now your Bluetooth is powered like this right here. Okay, and your audio output is here. So we take the supplied MP3 cable, plug it into this adapter. My radio uses RCA inputs. And you hook this right here up, 12 volt power, and ground and that's how you do it now what I'm doing on mine since I have my TV also going into my auxiliary input I'm adding a switch in line so I can cut the Bluetooth module on or off so with that there we go and we'll get started this is your basic cheap AM FM CD DVD stereo DVD and CD slots vertical so there's no depth to this unit okay so there's plenty of room behind this to mount just about anything in order to remove this radio you want to pry off your trim ring now I have mine partially removed just for this video but it's just sitting there with clips once that is done removed there's screw holes there's four screw holes this radio there's only two and unfortunately one of mine is already stripped out I need a little bit bigger screw there but you pull the radio out as such and you see there's no uh, depth to this radio like I said before so here we go I'm gonna unplug the antenna unplug the audio input and we're going to unplug the radio uh, power harness and speaker harness so now the radio is free and clear from this unit with this being said here's your power wires and speaker wires and on this one here everything is labeled however I did bring my digital multimeter okay you can have a cheap one from Harbor Freight or anywhere and find your 12 volt and your um, ground and how we do that is just connect it to 20 volts DC and I think we are ground here and power here and you see it's reading 13.65 volts so I found my power and ground wire already all right, so this is how it works. We have our blue T taps tied onto our positive and negative wire. The negative wire from the converter is going to the negative wire behind the radio, just like that. The positive wire from the converter is going to the switch, and the switch accessory wire is going to the positive side. install everything back in there real simple like just insert that through the hole insert the switch
We have the switch installed, hidden underneath here so you can't see anything. Install the power switch. Blue light is blinking, letting you know that there's power going to it. You can cut the power off by the switch, cut it back on. Blue light will cut back on. Once you have everything back assembled, just the way we disassembled it, put everything back in there, hook everything back up, and your rig now has Bluetooth input. Okay, now since everything is already back together, you got your radio back in, your trim rings back on, first thing you can do is turn your radio, power it on, turn it to the auxiliary input. Mine is in the rear for R. Next thing to do, I mount my on and off switch underneath the radio here. So I've got that turned on. Go on my phone here. Bluetooth mode. Paired. Okay, so I got my Bluetooth paired. Go to YouTube or wherever you want to go to. to. Royalty free music so YouTube doesn't block this video from me. Now you have Bluetooth. No wires. Easy install. You can control the volume from your phone. How I got this right here is I got the volume on here wide open. See, it's at 30. Okay. I got the volume on here turned wide open also. Skip ahead. There we go.